Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to the Crowded Couch Sessions here on Lickin' Riff, in which me and my good friend Lad are exploring jam sessions, acoustic soloing, and whatnot, because why not? Uh, so, in this video, uh, we're gonna be exploring a different sound. I'm playing a classical, he's playing a 12 string, and uh, we're gonna play, uh, we're gonna explore different sounds to show you how different instruments can give you a different result and challenge you to uh, get outside your comfort zone a little bit because that's my ultimate challenge to make you uncomfortable. So, um, the. Uh, we're gonna play the 12 string and the classical, then we're gonna uh, exchange the guitars. Uh, I'm gonna play the 12 string, he's gonna play the classical, and you'll get uh, a few perspectives on acoustic playing, um, or in this uh, video, classical soloing and whatnot. So um, just to um, completely break out the, outside the mold, yeah, I live next to an airport, uh, just to uh, completely... To completely uh, break outside the mold, let's uh, go for the the worst thing that you can play on a twelve string and on a classical, the blues. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> good luck. Mm -hmm. All right, so you, you'll start. Uh, you, you you'll start soloing. You'll start. <laughs> okay, so you'll start soloing. guitars and uh, you're gonna you're gonna see the different approaches that we have for soloing because uh, when you play a 12 string when you play a classical you want to get the sound that the guitar is designed to make so okay uh, yeah magic okay so now let's uh, let's play the blues uh, and uh, we'll try playing it differently Thank you. 
you get a completely different result because on the classical you want to you want to, you want to sound classical you want to uh, get that fat sound out and on a 12 string um, just playing the chords doesn't really give you the 12 string sound uh, just uh, it's it's too loud so uh, what I did as a, um, uh, as a solution was to just play a couple of notes out of the chord and just get, give an atmosphere for him to solo over um, because otherwise anything else I would do would interfere uh, so you have to be aware of the person you're playing with um, and the guitars you have at your disposal so um, let's take something um, let's make some beautiful music uh, let's take major seven chords. Let's take major seven chords. Um, A major seven and E major seven. And those chords in, are enough to enable you to make really, really nice music. So... that sound from two acoustic guitars. If we, if we would play um, the same chord progression on two acoustic guitars, it would get a different result. It wouldn't be nearly as magical as what just happened. Um, and um, now we're gonna exchange guitars and I will, um, and, I, and, and we will show you a different approach to the same thing. Um, but again, it's just going to be a different musical example. Now, if we had two acoustic guitars, um, most likely we would get a, um, a less um, ethereal result because the acoustic, the 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 12-string guitar um, just throws the f frequencies into the air, just like just like fairy dust. Um, and yeah, fairy dust. That's the first thing that came to mind when you, well, yeah, because when I think 12 string, I think fairy dust. And um, the classical is such a wholesome sound that you just re really can't get it from an acoustic. So let's change guitars. I love the magic of cinema. He's a really good actor. Uh, so. <laughs> Okay, so the chords I was using, uh, okay, that's a, <laughs> that's a nice one. I was using uh, 4 6 6 on strings uh, 3 4 5. I played 4 6 6, and that way I got, um, I, I made use of the, of the, the harmonized notes. And for the A major 7, I played A major 7 here, but with a sus2 sound. So I just played 1 and 2 on strings 3 and 4 with the open 2nd string. So that's, that, that's the, the, the sound that I was using. And he'll be playing uh, chords that he's used to, all sorts of um, voice things that he's used to. For example, the first one that he played, um, this one, it's, it's a beautiful voicing. Um, it's 7 on the first string with your third finger and then the little finger is on the third string on eight now that's the major seven note now on uh the second string he has his first finger on five okay the e note and the major note is here the major note is on the fourth uh, string on six 
So that's a really nice voicing. It's seven, five, eight, six. Okay, so, um, okay, let's, let's start playing. <laughs> no, um, the when you get out of your um, of your preferred instrument of your instrument of choice, you discover that you can do a lot more than what you're used to, um, and that's why it's always uh, it's always a good idea to try different instruments and to try different variations of the same instrument. Uh, uh, guitar players, we're, we're very lucky that we have so many different types of the same instrument. You can't say the same for piano players and for keyboardists because they only have the piano and the keyboard. Now, of course, you have the synthesizer, uh, but the synthesizer is, is, a, is a completely different instrument. You don't play it like a keyboard or a piano. Um, it's it's a it's an entirely different thing. It's an entirely different animal. But but the guitar is basically the same instrument, but you have different sound types. Now that we've uh, finished with the lesson, uh, we're gonna try try new sounds. So go ahead, play. <laughs> Thank you. 